So today we're going to look into, you know, when you have a stereo pair, so a left and right image, and sometimes you want to get the uh, intermediate, intermediate frames to uh, to create a lenticular or to create like a smooth uh, wiggle or wobble. So how do you get those uh, in between frames? Usually. I mean, that's the way it's been done for a long time, I think, is to get depth maps. You get a depth map on the left side and you get a depth map on the right side. And that way you can uh, generate intermediate frames rather easily using, for instance, one of my programs called FSG6. So that's one way of doing it. But the other way would be to just to uh, use AI and to get frames and to get interpolation frames between the two images. So uh, I don't know in which order I want to look at that. But first, let's get a stereo slide, like a 1950s realist slide, and then we'll look into getting the uh, the frames. So what I usually do to get a slide is to go into my Facebook and look at the group that's called Vintage Stereo Slides. And here you can find some good good scans. So I'm just gonna... Usually I take scans from Ron Lab, this guy, because it's always well done and well aligned. So let me get one that looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, so let's take, okay, so let's click on it. Uh, let, me, let me save it. Okay. Okay, so that's out of the way. So now I'm going to use Stereo Photo Maker to separate the left and right image. So I'll be right back. So here I am in Stereo Photo Maker. So open Stereo Image. So that's the one. Okay. Uh, it's already aligned, so I'm not going to do any manipulation. I just want to save the left and right. Save left, right image. I'm going to call it something stupid, like the... Uh, I don't know if I need to do this. Yeah. So it should... It should save the left and right image. Let's look at how to get... The intermediate images so we're gonna go on google and just type hugging hugging face i just want to get to the website yeah that's it so once you're on hugging face which is the home of or the uh, the home of the ai community you go to spaces and here you search spaces so you're gonna search for uh, frame interpolation there should be like three or four but they're all the same so i just take this one it's very easy to use you just drop your i mean let's look at it quickly so that frame interpolation ai is uh, it's based on what the so-called film frame interpolation for large scene motion so they give you like a few examples so you have two frames you can some of them are very different this one are quite similar but this one they are very different and you can try it okay so let's let's load the left image here so left image let's load the right image right image and here they are three yeah, I'm just going to use default and here I'm just going to add, I'm going to go to 4. So, submit. And it should, the MP4 should show up here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to in interpolate from left to right and then I'm going to do right to left. Okay, so it's done. Let's just save it for now. Okay, so let's do the other way around. 
so that I have a round trip thing. So let's do the right and let's do the left. Okay, submit. I mean, uh, I'm sure there are other ways to get the. You can just get the left to right and just and just uh, load that into some video processing software and. Uh, Get it to go backwards but yeah i'm just too lazy to do that so let's save that one download one that's fine okay so i think we're all done with respect to this thing so now i have to so my video processing software i use avi dmux i use it quite a bit so let's okay uh, so let's open okay download okay so let's load that one and just append the other one okay then just um, hold on. Output MP4 and just save. Okay, so now let's look. Let's just use the default viewer for MP4. Okay, uh, let's get it to repeat. And let's play. Okay, so it's not bad. I mean, there's weird stuff going on on a quaff or bonnet, whatever it is. And otherwise, it's um, pretty good. A bit weird here near the what the a light I guess. Um, other than that, I like it. So it goes to show. I mean, you don't you don't need to create diff maps anymore. Anyway, so for lenticular, I think it's a good tool to have, assuming that the the baseline is large enough because usually when you do lenticulars you want to you go you would want to expand a little bit to the left of the left image and expand a little bit to the right of the right image to get more depth in the lenticular when you do lenticular uh, you, usually, you usually won't want more depth than usual so but i'm sure you can uh, i mean to me it, it it works fine but if the baseline is very small it's not going to do you any good for lenticular imaging you would want to use depth maps in this in this uh, case but with depth map as usual you're going to have the problem of uh, in painting proper in painting so in that case you need to use another ai tool which is the um, 3d in painting i think it's called Oh, by the way, when you do 3D in painting, the background, uh, the background is uh, fixed. It's the foreground that moves, which is not good. But here it seems that, uh, but here it seems that the the background is moving, but the foreground is also moving. So it means that for lenticular, it's pretty good. Because the point of focus is is probably going to be in the middle, middle ground. I mean, what you have to know is that when you do lenticular imaging, um, the stereo window determines where the lenticular is going to be in focus. So sometimes, depending on the subject, you want 
the foreground to be in focus. In other words, in other words, not moving when you do the wiggle or the wobble like this MP4. But sometimes you want the background to be in focus, meaning that you want the background to be fixed, not moving when you do the wiggle. So it depends on your image. Usually, usually you would want the foreground to be fixed because that's the point of interest. So you would you you want to have control over that. But here in this case you have zero control. I mean it, it, it's it's up to the uh, it's up to the software that does this. So here in this case, it looks like the the stereo window or the the ground where the uh, there's no motion from left to right seems to be the middle ground, uh, which probably works. But if you do a lenticular of this thing, uh, that plug at the forefront is gonna be, look a little blurry, as well as the background. And she's going to look uh, blurry as well, because she's moving quite a bit. So anyway, uh, anyway, this is just to show that it uh, it works. I mean, there's no denying that. So let's go back to the hugging stuff. So I'll put a link to that thing, but it's so easy to, to find. Just uh, look for frame interpolation. Okay, uh, for Facebook, do I need to give the link to that Facebook group? It's very easy to, to find vintage stereo, stereo slides, stereo, vintage stereo slides. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe. It always helps to get a, um, a like, because then... Uh, when somebody is searching for uh, something, it's gonna. My stuff is gonna come on top. You know what I'm saying? So it always helps. And subscribing always helps as well. So I thank you for that in advance. Okay, so I'll see you around. Bye.